Good morning. I'm Miss Fran from Reed Memorial Library, and I'm really glad you're here for story time. We're doing a fun story time again about community helpers. And well, let's start with our opening song, okay? With our welcoming song. Here we go. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray! I'm ready to read. This morning we're reading about mail carriers. Do you know your mail carrier that brings letters to your house and sometimes packages? Boy, that's an important community helper. Our first book this morning is called Clothesline Clues to Jobs People Do. And this is written by Katherine Helling and Deborah Hembrook. And the illustrations are by Andy Robert Davies. Clothes line clues. Hmm. Red, I like red. <clears throat> it says, look at the clothesline and see every clue. Who uses these things for the jobs that they do? Hmm, I see some clothes in a basket, but I only see birds on the clothesline. Hmm. Uniform and cap, an invite for you. Big bag of letters. What job does she do? Look, there's a letter that says party on it. Hmm, must be a party invitation. What job do you think that person would do that carries a bag full of letters? She is a mail carrier. I bet you already guessed that, didn't you? Look, she has her mail truck over here, but she's also walking and delivering, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the mail that's in her bag. Milk pail and straw hat, overalls in blue, plaid shirt, and bandana, what job does he do? What do you think? A straw hat, overalls, and a milk pail. Hmm. Oh look, he is a farmer. Look, he has a big box of tomatoes and carrots and corn. He's putting them in the back of his pickup truck. And look who's putting a letter in his mailbox. The mail carrier. Oven mitts, an apron, a recipe for stew, a puffy hat, and a wire whisk. What job does he do? What do you think? Did you guess? He is a chef. And if you look at what's, look, there's the box of tomatoes and some carrots, and there are the farmers driving away. He just made a delivery. Look who is putting something in his mailbox. Wonder what he's making. Looks like pie crust, mm, maybe. A smock, a beret, and brushes. Paints of every hue. A canvas and an easel. What job does he do? What do you think? He is an artist. Look at all those beautiful paintings he has made. And all of his paints. And look who's coming through the door. With an invitation for him too. It says party right on the front. Coveralls, a tool belt, work gloves, and glue. Safety glasses, and a saw. What job does she do? Look at all those tools. Hmm. 
Overalls and work gloves. What do you think the job is that she does? She is a carpenter. She's sawing some wood. What is she making? I don't know. But outside in her mailbox, the mail carrier is placing another pink envelope. What could it be? Heavy pants, a helmet. Look, there's fire on the helmet, a flame. Wide suspenders too, a rescue coat, a long hose. What job does she do? I bet you already guessed this one. She is a firefighter. And there's the fire truck and the hose. There's the firehouse where the fire truck stays. And there's the mail carrier with a pink envelope going right there in that mailbox too. A space suit and a jet pack, star charts to review, flight gloves and moon boots. What job does she do? This is an odd one. She is an astronaut. And there's a rocket with a ladder inside. And look, all of these people are coming. Look, there's the chef with a cake. There's the mail carrier with invitations. The artist, the carpenter, the farmer. Look, everybody's bringing their pink envelope that says party on it. These clothes are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs just right for you? Mm, we'll see. Look, they've come to a launch party. Good luck, says the sign. And they're, they're serving sandwiches and he's drawing sketches. And the firefighter, she is carefully lighting the flame that's going to make the rocket blast off. Goodbye, astronaut. There she goes up into the wild blue yonder. That was an interesting, interesting book about clothes that are clues to what people do. Sometimes people's jobs, they do have clothes that give clues to what they do. I don't think my clothes give too much clue that I'm a library person, but my tag might help you. Well, we have a nice little action poem that we're going to do. It's called The Mail Carrier. A mail carrier? Did I hear my name? I'm a mail carrier. Whoa, you're here. Great. That's so great because we were just going to do a little poem about you. Well, I had to stop by because over there on the table, I brought you some mail. Some of them are pink letters like in your book. Really? Oh, we do have some pink letters. Are the invitations? I don't know. I don't look in your mail and read it. I just carry it around in my sack. Well, okay, I can't stay long. I've got a lot to do. Well, can you stay while we, while we do this action poem about the mail carrier? Because you are a mail carrier. You're here at just the perfect time. Oh, okay, I can spare just a minute. Okay, well, our, our action poem goes like this. It goes, see mail carriers dressed in blue. Will they bring some mail to you? You did to us. They work when it rains and snows, even when a strong wind blows. <whistles> ah, I almost blew away that time. It's true. At the post office, we have a saying that says, neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night keeps the mail from going through. We are not afraid of snow or rain or wind. Oh, speaking of that, I've got to go. I've got a lot to deliver. Bye. Well, I hope you'll come back. I'll try. Okay, let's do that one more time, okay? Let's everybody stand up. Here we go. It says, see the mail carrier dressed in blue. That's not me. I'm dressed in pink. <laughs> dressed in blue. Will they bring some mail to you? We hope so. They work when it rains or snows. Even, a, even when a strong wind blows. Oh, I'm glad that the mail carriers work even when the, when the weather is bad. Because sometimes here in Ohio, we do have some bad weather, don't we? All right. 
Well, we're going to read another book about mail before we open ours. And this one says, It Came in the Mail, and this is by Ben Clanton. Look, at there's a little boy in a mailbox, and there's a dragon's head sticking out of the mailbox. Hmm, I saw that, and I thought, maybe I want to read this book. This looks so interesting. It Came in the Mail by Ben Clanton. Liam loved to get mail. Hooray! Too bad he never got any. Oh, boogers. He checked daily, hourly, every few seconds. But he found nothing. But then, on a day, much like any other, an idea struck Liam. Ouch! That idea hit him right on the head. If he sent some mail, then maybe he'd get some in return. I gotta go write a letter. I'll see you later, Jamel. Uh, okay. Whoosh, off he goes. Not sure who to send something to, Liam sent a letter to his mailbox. Dear Mailbox, I would like to get something in the mail. Something big, please. Love, Liam. As soon as Liam put the letter in the mailbox, it began to shake. It made all sorts of strange sounds. Crank, toot, whir, wink, squibble, wibble, whoop. Wow, that's scary. When Liam looked inside, he was met by a blast of fire. A dragon had come in the mail. Look at Liam's face. And it was for Liam. You can tell it's for Liam because he has a tag around his neck that says, For Liam. Liam loved the dragon, but he couldn't wait to see what he might get next. Here he is writing another letter. Dear Mailbox, thank you for the fire-breathing dragon. It is just what I always wanted. Can you send me more stuff, please? Love, Liam. P.S. You are the best mailbox ever. Soon, the mailbox was spitting out all sorts of things. Pickles, pigs, a whale with wings. A trombone, a triceratops bone, even a funny bone. Squibble, wibble, wop, knock, knock. Liam liked it all. He liked it so much that he wanted even more. Whee, says the little snail coming up. So he wrote another letter. Dear mailbox, you send the best mail. I would love it if you sent me a gazillion more things. Love, Liam. Hmm, look at the dragon over here. How does his face look? What do you think he thinks about Liam's latest letter? Creak, rattle, rumble, bumble. Oodles and oodles of mail flooded out of the mailbox. A shark. A lobster, a crab. Wait, says Liam. Oh no, an elephant came out, an octopus, a sailboat. Too much mail. All the animals are making all different kinds of comments. Got any good jokes? I'm a dry bone, says the funny bone. What was Liam to do with it all. Look, he's 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 like piled underneath underneath it over here. Oof, he says. Whoa! Awesome, there's a crab with a hat on. Magic mail. And then another idea struck Liam. He probably wasn't the only kid who had ever wanted to get mail. Where are you going again? says Jamel. Gotta write a letter. Again? 
Dear Mailbox, thank you for all the mail, but I think it's maybe too much for just me. Can you help me send some of it to other kids? Love, Liam. With some help from the mailbox, look, he's trying to stick the elephant back in. Ugh, he says. I bet Amelia would love this thing, says Jamel. Liam was soon mailing things to kids all over the place. Look at this girl. Rattle, rattle. The mailbox is rumbling. Brilliant. The elephant's trunk is coming out. There's so many things happening. Liam found he rather liked sending stuff. He liked it so much that before long, almost everything was gone. Hello, says Jamel to the winged horse. That was okay with Liam. He could always ask the mailbox for more. Woohoo, says Jamel. But maybe some other time. Faster, says Liam to the dragon. And here's, here's a letter that Liam wrote to the mailbox, and it's a picture. And he calls his dragon Sizzle Fritz. And there's a picture of him coming out of the mailbox with fire coming out of his mouth and smoke. And it says, from Liam, Liam to the mailbox. At first, when he started getting things out of the mailbox, he was really greedy, wasn't he? He wanted more and more and more. And then he realized, hmm, maybe some other kids would enjoy things coming out of their mailbox. He was right about one thing. A lot of times, in order to get something from your mailbox, to get a letter, you have to write a letter. So that's important. Well, what do you say that we look at some of the things that the mailman brought, or the mail carrier brought for us? He brought some pink letters, just like in our one book. I wonder if these letters could be invitations. It says to Miss Fran and Storytime Friends. So that's you too. Hmm, maybe this will give us a clue if we look inside and see what someone has sent us. Oops, I had it upside down. It says, Dear Friend, if you have any cheese, Will you please leave it by my hole? Thank you, love, and then there's no name. Well, now that doesn't sound like an invitation. It sounds like someone wanting something, and they call us friend. Who could that be? If you have any cheese, will you please leave it by my hole? Did you guess who it might be from? Let's open it out and see if it tells us. <gasps> Can you see? It's from Mouse. Do you have a friend that's a mouse? Hmm, that's a nice letter. We'll leave that one over here. We have more and more mail. How did we get so much mail? I think we're like Liam this morning. This one says, Dear friend, let's have a fish lunch together. Love and there's no name in there. Who do you think would be interested in a fish lunch? Not the mouse. Mice don't eat fish. Who eats fish? Let's look and see. Here's a clue. Oh, he looks pretty interested in eating fish because he's a cat. All right, well, we'll see if we can have a fish lunch with you sometime soon, okay? Boy, look at all this mail we got today. This is so exciting. I love getting mail. This one says, Dear friend, maybe we could play fetch soon. Hmm. Do cats like to play fetch? No, it can't be a cat. Uh, do birds play fetch? Maybe it could be a bird. No, I don't think so. What do you think it would be? <gasps> a dog! Yes, we can play fetch soon. That would be fun. I can find a stick and we can play. Very good. Boy, we got so much mail to go through here. Here's another one to Miss Fran and the Storytime Friends. 
All right, get it out of there. This one says, dear friend, I'm looking forward to sleeping all winter. Well, boy, I'm telling you, you're about ready to wake up because winter is over. It says love, but it doesn't have a name. Hmm, who do you know that sleeps all winter? Well, groundhogs sleep all winter, but we've read a few books that said that maybe bears sleep all winter. Let's see. <gasps> we guessed it. It was a bear. Wow, look at the claws on that bear. Good thing he's just waking up. I think I'm going to leave that bear alone. Two more letters. Here's another one to Miss Fran and the Storytime Friends. This one says, Dear friend, I'm lonely. Can you please put a friend in my bowl? Hmm, in their bowl. Well, a dog wouldn't want a friend to be in his food bowl. What can you, what do you know of that would have a friend in their bowl? Hmm. It's a fish. The fish is lonely and he wants a friend in his fish bowl. Did you know, I think he must have, this, this fish, a girl or a boy, I don't know which, he must have sent it to um, our, the person that takes care of our fish here at the library because they brought in a bunch more new fish the other day and put them in the tank with the, with the other one. So maybe they were lonely. Maybe they wrote a letter. You'll have to stop in and see those fish because we have lots of new ones now. That's a good reason to write a letter when you need someone to help you do something. This one says, Dear friend, can you please visit me in my tree? I want, to, I want you to see my new nest. Love, hmm. who would have a nest and would want you to see that nest in a tree? Could be a squirrel. The squirrels are having babies now. But I think it's probably, what did you guess? A bird. There was a bird singing out in the parking lot when I came to the library this morning. I wonder if they have a nest outside. Isn't getting mail fun? I love getting mail. All right, we're gonna move those over and we're going to read one more book about someone who got a letter. This is a book about a mail carrier, and the title is A Letter for Leo. It's by Sergio Routier. <clears throat> a Letter for Leo. Hmm. Leo is the mailman of a little old town. There's the post office. There's his box of letters that he's gonna put in his bag. He carries all kinds of mail, big boxes and small packets, envelopes of every size, catalogs, love letters, birthday cards. Look, he's carrying something wrapped up in the shape of a bone and boy, the dog is really excited. Here's a an animal, maybe that's a squirrel, sitting up in a tree and he's bringing a letter for the mailbox that has a heart on it. Here's a fish. Oh boy, there's a fish hook on the side of that box. That fish better be careful. Often he stops to play a game of boche with his friends or sits down for a moment to rest and chat. Leo has a pleasant life, except for one thing. With all the mail that he delivers every day, he has never received a letter himself. Maybe tomorrow, he sighs as he leaves the post office for the evening. One morning, Leo is about to open the mailbox when he hears, Chee! What could that be, he wonders. And look, he sticks in a stick, and look what comes out. It's a little bird. Who are you? Cheep! Where do you come from, Cheep? Cheep! You must have lost touch with your flock, and you are too little to fly south by yourself. 
Leo gives Cheep some sun-dried crickets he always keeps in his satchel for emergencies. What should I do with you? I guess I'll take you home with me. I hope you'll be comfortable here, he says. And he puts a little lamp beside a box with a pillow and a cover. Time goes by. There he is, carrying mail, and look, little Cheep is running after him with a mushroom. Leo and Cheep are now a little family. <clears throat> Cheep, says Cheep. Yes, says Leo, that's snow. Everybody's playing in the snow. Cheep and Leo are making a snowman. Oh, it may be a snow mail carrier. Look, he's got uh, Leo's hat. When springtime comes, the birds leave their warm winter homes and they fly south. Oh, they fly north. I'm sorry, I went the wrong direction. And there's a little cheap. He's playing in the, in the little stream with his stick. Cheap is a big little bird now and he is ready to go. Cheap, says Cheap. Cheap says Leo. They're hugging him. Leo's crying because he knows Cheap will leave, but that's the right thing. There he is waving goodbye as little Cheap flies away into the sky with the other birds going north. How does Leo look? He's a little sad, doesn't he? Leo goes back to his life as it was before Cheap. Delivering mail. <clears throat> and there he is, putting mail in, talking to people. But what he was hoping for has finally arrived. He's looking at a mail with his mail with a big smile on his face. And he opens it. It's a letter to Leo. And it says, Gee! Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep. Who do you think the letter is from? And there's Cheep coming back for a visit. I love to get mail, especially when it's good mail from a friend like that was. Oh yeah, I'm just taking a little break because boy, have I been working hard this morning. I've been delivering so much mail and all that kind of stuff. So, well, I'm glad you stopped back by because I was just getting ready to tell the kids that in their kit, they can make a mail carrier just like you. Like me, well, that's great because we need a million of them because there's so much mail. Oh, it makes me go a little bit crazy. You see my eyes going in circles? Woo! That's what googly eyes are for, make you go woo! Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you need some help. But they can make someone just like you and they can put a hat on that says USPS. That stands for, well, what does that stand for? Uh, USPS, that stands for United States Postal Service. Oh, so you are a USPS mail carrier, correct. And this one right here, it says mail. Why does it say mail on this bag? Because that's where I keep all my mail, all the letters that I'm delivering. Sheesh. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. I just wasn't too clear on that. Okay, so you are going to go about your mail deliveries? Yeah, sure. And I hope the kids have a lot of fun making, uh, you know, more mail carriers like me because, boy, do we need help. We have a lot of mail to deliver. And remember, kids, if you want to get a letter, you should send a letter. Okay, bye. So another thing that's in your kit besides just the parts to make a mail carrier puppet is you have things in there where you can write your own letter. So you might want to send a letter to a friend or maybe like I know grandmas love getting letters from their grandchildren and this is a this is a paper that has some lines on it.
that if you know how to make letters, you can put them on there, but mostly I know grandmas really, 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 and grandpas too, I'm sure, they really love pictures. So here's one where you could just draw a picture, and then you have an envelope that you can open it up and fold it, fold your paper and put it inside, and then ask your grown-up to help you address it. Like you have to put an address on the outside and a stamp so that you can put it in the post box or you can put it in your mailbox and the mail carrier will take it and deliver it. So this has been a really fun time talking about community helpers and today was our last story time about community helpers. We are not going to be having any more of these story times until the beginning of May so make sure and sign up, register, tell your grown-ups to register but <clears throat> all through April. Of course, Miss Haley is going to have her regular interactive story time this Thursday. And then, but every Wednesday through April, Miss Haley is going to be doing story times that talk about books um, from Telling a People's Story exhibit that we have here in the library. And that is downstairs in our big meeting room. So if you can, stop in and see that it's all about many authors that have told the story of their people. So, it's so good to have you here today. Would you help me sing the goodbye song? I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. See you next time.